Chelsea in their way. Porto put out Manchester United, of course. And the club which ended Milan's reign as champions, Deportivo La Coruña. So we're ready for a European climax that no one could have predicted at the start of the campaign. There's no history between Monaco and Porto, no form guide. So an intriguing evening ahead. In the recent weeks, Dele has been fit again. Oh, they are through again this time, and out comes Vito Baye with a brilliant challenge. Well, as he's on to this, I think he's there. I think just left it. He gets to the ball, but I just don't think he reacted quick enough, surely. I thought he had the goalkeeper in the match for him. Especially when a long ball is over hit like that. It was a spring heel jumping of Benny McCarthy. But what they have got is Carlos Alberto. A moment of supreme opportunism. And the teenager has turned it Porto's way. Well, I said he could do the unexpected. What a finish. Cisse. Morientes. It's not going to count. It's not even going to go in. It's not going to be a penalty. The flag was up. And it's Lucas Bernardi. Monaco made the brisker start. But Porto seized the moment close to the finish of the first half. We mentioned the two of them, the two of the biggest. Morientes and Rotten. Still scope for change here in Gelsenkirchen. Peso powering in. Oh, had it. Nuno Valente totally lost there. He took his eye off the ball. He was worried about Preso coming in behind him there. He certainly got there. He just, one of the three more attack minded players was sacrificed. Oh, Perso. Here's Perso. Right again. A very good save by Vita Baye from Morientes. This must be another close one. And don't deal with a bouncing ball and Prisa almost made them pay. And the break is certainly on here. Here's Deco. A chance to settle it. Oh. Talk about coolness. Another 20 minutes to go. But Porto lead Monaco by two goals to nil. Oh, what a cool finish. And you must surely now be game over. Beautiful finish, no doubt about that. The complaint to the referee, they wanted a free kick just here as Morientes tumbled. But this is how you take advantage of a breakaway. Deco. Delay, there's no flag here. Got the ball. We'll see cost. Three against three. Monaco trying to get a fourth back. Well, that has surely wrapped it up. And Lenichev, who made the second, scores the third. A scorer in the UEFA Cup final a year ago. A scorer in the Champions League final here. And Porto. <laughs> Nonda, Costina couldn't make the tackle. Oh, and Evra. Couldn't keep it down with a fair bit to aim at. It wasn't the easiest chance. And no one was really convinced that Nonda was going to do anything here. There's so, such a lack of movement. Curved in by Rotten. Wow. For the best part of 40 minutes, the most memorable part of tonight was the opening ceremony. There was a, a lot of uh, chessboard play. Neither side really got to grips with the game. If anything, Monaco had done it slightly better than Porto. It looked more threatening. No, they haven't. Because uh, we were kept waiting for just a few seconds. But this is the moment. Mourinho's men have even topped last season.
when they won the UEFA Cup with the supreme prize. They are the champions of the Champions League. What a double. Porto. Now the pick of Europe again as winners of the UEFA Champions League. And let their celebrations begin.